that see, ears that hear, a heart full of understanding. Receive that. Receive that. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are seeing people, a hearing people, a discerning house. In the name of the Lord Jesus, so paragada balo vezedusha, ingrados otolika velasha, ebro frakatos atalabaha. Let there be a breaking out of the spirit of faith, the power of vision, the gift of faith in this house. In the name of Jesus, Eparo Kodosa Fratija Balaha. Oh, glory is moving. I will move with the clouds. Move with the clouds. Is moving. I will move with the cloud. It's moving. This cloud of glory is moving. I will move with the cloud. Move with the cloud. This cloud.
It's not manifest in your affairs. And you try to overlook it, but it keeps coming back. If you're in a place this morning where you don't have the greatest assurance of God's love for you and his preference over you, today is going to be the last day that the enemy would have that kind of hold on your heart. We navigate the realms of the supernatural based on a revelation of who the Father is. In fact, what you believe about God is the most important thing about you. Together as a people, as saints under God, we want to take care of that. Do you want to come forward? We'll sing over you, I'll pray over you. And you're going to be released into a new atmosphere of conviction that God is your father. And you'll always have the resources you need to fulfill your destiny. Come quickly, come quickly. You need a, an assurance in your spirit. I sense it so strong as the work God is doing this morning. You need an assurance in your spirit that you are your father's son, that you are your father's daughter. Oh, he's coming after me. <laughs> oh, coming after me. Coming after me. a few people who should be here and then we'll start to pray but for those of you who are in front just enjoy your father's love and use your words this morning to receive his love you're receiving new eyes you would see who you are in God you would see who you are in God is coming after me Coming after me, coming after me. Coming after me, coming after me, coming after me. He is coming after you, coming after you, coming after you. He's coming after you. He is coming after you, coming after you. Coming after you, coming after you. I want you to take a moment if you're in front to pray that Father, the images that have filled my heart about you, 
world. Not according to scripture, but according to my experiences. I ask for the cleansing power of the blood to expunge those images. Take a moment to pray. I will not, I will not lower my vision of you to the level of my experience. I would elevate my perception and revelation of you to the level of scriptures. Pray for new revelation. Ask for the cleansing power of the blood to do this work of cleansing and healing in your heart. Declare that that if there have been any misinterpretations of the fatherhood of God through earthly figures, whether spiritual fathers or biological fathers, declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that a new revelation of the fatherhood of God will be awakened in your spirit. And I just heard the Lord say to me, I'm calling them higher. So receive that. Declare, Lord, I respond to your call to come higher in my fellowship, in my love for you, in my world with you. Receive that. Your Father is calling you to come higher. Now resist the orphan spirit. Resist it. The orphan spirit is what makes you feel you have to hustle through life. That you really don't have anyone on your side. Resist that. Declare, I believe that God is my Father. I understand that you will take care of me. I receive your help. Now pray for helpers. Pray for helpers. The system of covenant advantage is that God houses favor in men. Receive the gift of men now. Receive the gift of men that my journey will never be a lonely one. Everyone you can pray the same prayers. Receive the gift of favor and the gift of men. The gift of men and the gifts of men. People will bestow their gifts unto you. Resist every feeling of rejection. Lay it down and denounce it. That I refuse to feel unaccepted. I'm accepted in the beloved. Thank you, Father. Lord, I declare over your sons and your daughters this morning. And I pray as your prophet. Aligning ourselves to what we see you doing in this room. In this moment. Let there be an outpouring of the extravagant love of God in the name of Jesus Christ sweet Holy Spirit we thank you because you are doing a work of healing what I saw in the spirit was like um, when you put a, a shovel into a soil and I saw the Lord pulling out stuff he's exhuming what has no place in your future in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you for the deep work of healing you're doing in our hearts. Thank you for a higher revelation. I perceive also uh, that, some, that there is an operation. And I just want you to, you know, maybe put your hand on your chest. Because the Lord said, it won't, no, 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 till, when I say it, if it resonates, if it's an experience, put your hands on, ch on your chest so I could pray about that. I just saw that because some of us are not able to really fully perceive the Father's heart and love. We also really second guess his leadership. So you would perceive God saying something to you and then you'll be like, is it really God or am I just the one thinking it? Can you put your hands on your chest if that happens to you? Okay. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the spirit of wisdom and revelation be so powerful in the hearts of your sons and your daughters. Let clarity and conviction arise on the account of what you are doing in this moment that they begin to understand your voice so clearly and they run with the speed of obedience. Thank you for a new dispensation of favor, a new dispensation of revelation, a new dispensation of your love in the name of Jesus. And for those who have served in the Lord's house, who have walked in obedience to your will, but who continue to say, Lord, how would you reward me? My life doesn't look like I have seen with my eyes the things you promised to me. I declare prophetic expedition. Let there be an acceleration of the fulfillment of God's promises over your life. For everyone in the room and even those online, receive prophetic fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.
give me a vision of the end a vision of the future give me a vision of the end a vision of you give me a vision of the end a vision of the future a vision of the end a vision of you give me a vision of the end a vision of the future a vision of the end a vision of you Give me a vision of the end, a vision of the future, a vision of the end, a vision of you. Mm. Give me a vision of the end, a vision of the future, a vision of the end. A vision of you Give me a vision of the end A vision of the future A vision of the end A vision of you We cry for a vision of the future of the future, a vision of the end, a vision of you. Give me a vision of the end, a vision of the future, a vision of the end, a vision of you. To see where you're taking us, we ask to see a vision of the end, a vision of the end, a vision of you. That's what I see the Lord doing. He's giving you a new vision, a clear vision, a powerful vision, and I'm going to be praying for anyone. Who feels like the vision is blown? Come forward very quickly. If today is a day in your life where you're saying, God, I want to see a person I can become. Come quickly. You are praying for a vivid vision for what is ahead of you. You are saying, I need to see it, God. I need to understand it. I need to know what is next. Vision of Vision of the future, vision of the end, a vision of you. So hope and not your kids of a heart. You are asking for a picture that is powerful. You want to know what is in the heart of God. It's not that you have never seen, it's not you are not seeing. It's you are saying, Lord, it's not very clear anymore. Or you are saying there are many things you are showing me. How do I prioritize my journey? Well, how do I know the step after the step after the step? You are saying show me a vision of my foreigners. Those who have gone ahead of me. What is my prototype? What is my model in the spirit? Who are you calling me to become? What is in the days ahead for me? How do I order my life? Oh, 
Ledos. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Rakatala Katosa Baha. Ipurukosu Bebeha. For those of you who are seated, you still should pray for a vivid vision. Make it clearer, make it stronger. In the name of Jesus, Oh, give me a vision. A vision of the end. A vision of the future. A vision of the end. A vision of you. A vision of the end, a vision of the future, a vision of the end, a vision of you. Sando Kora Basa I want you to put your hands on your womb, man or woman. Put your hands that's over your stomach, and and pray this prayer. The the full version of what we are languaging in songs is a vision of the end of your calling. And what that means is, if I follow this path that God will show me, who would I become? What can happen to Africa? What can happen to the body of Christ? What can happen to my industry? So a vision is not merely what you should do next. It is what is in the heart of God if I obey what I should do next. Let's all pray for that. Hands over your stomach, Lord. Imprint in my spirit visions of the end of my calling. Imprint in my spirit images of my divine purpose. Fresh, fresh. Everyone standing here, you have heard things over the years from the Lord. I want you to now start to pray for remembrance. Ask the Holy Spirit to bring to your remembrance every significant imprint of God's word that is relevant for now. There are things you heard 10 years ago and now is the time for it. God has your timelines. Ask that the Holy Spirit will awaken your heart. Bring to my remembrance instructions, insights, inspiration. If you are standing here and you have worked on things God put in your heart, but you were faced with opposition and adversity, so you lost courage. I want you to receive a fresh impartation of spiritual courage. You are going to take the territories. You are going to become on the account of vision. A way will be made for you. Doors must open for you. I receive an impartation of spiritual courage. I will go a second time. If the vision is blur and you're saying, did it, I can't even really see. I want you to pray for the cleansing power of the Holy Spirit. Ask him to cleanse the images that stand in the way of a true vision. Images, oppression, comparison, distractions. Ask for a new vision. Ask for a new vision. I want you to pray, sweet Holy Spirit. Speak to me in a language I understand. Speak to me in a language I understand. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what we've been looking at in the journey of faith. Faith is aspirational. Faith is about vision. Speak to my heart. You are not alone, beloved. You are not alone. Even if people think that your life is not moving forward, you are on the path of the just. Now pray that, Lord, realign me to my path in destiny. Renounce and
and denounce distractions and derailments. This is one of the greatest enemies against a life of vision. And derailments sometimes look even more attractive than the path of purpose. Ask that the Holy Spirit aligns you. Vision of the future. Vision of the end. A vision of the Cry out, give me a vision of the end. A vision of the future. Denounce derailments. That in the name of Jesus, I will not be distracted. I will not be derailed. Set me on the path of purpose. Set me on my destiny design. Finally, pray for helpers. Even for those of you who are running after the vision God has shown you, pray for co laborers who will build with you. Quality people. Pray for mentors, fathers, leaders, associates, funders, crusaders, announcers, advisors, intercessors. Pray for that. Pray with all your heart now. The power of the Holy Spirit is staring your spirit right where you are right now. For some of you, he's going to rest like a clock on you. The power of the Holy Spirit is staring you. You will see some of you in dreams. You will hear so strong, so vividly. Husband and wife, if you're here together, can you find yourselves and hold your hands and agree this moment that God is giving us a vision of our union. What we must become, what we must do. Receive that. Receive strength to stand with each other. Go find your spouse. Put your hands in their hands that we are building to last. God is giving us a legacy on the earth. Declare that in agreement. Pray with all your heart. I see the power of the Holy Spirit staring, staring, staring hearts, staring hearts. Declare we will not be distracted. We run our feet upon our high places. Declare that we have the favor that comes from God when we are in alignment. Our agreement is unbroken. It's staring you, staring you, staring you, staring you, staring you, staring you. He's staring you. Receive it. Receive the power of accomplishment. I just want an image in my spirit. And that's the final prayer we'll pray. The Lord brought to me the image of the angel that opened up the gates of the prison for Peter to go through. And scripture declared that the angel opened up the gates leading into the city. God is giving you access to cities. Yes, I see that. Every angelic facilitation that will open you up to your industry. Exposure is supernatural. Receive in the name of Jesus. Every supernatural access to decision makers, to economists, to governments, to institutions, to industries, to sectors. Receive it now. Receive that. Call your industry by name. Oh, 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 open up. Industries we call to you. Open up. Cities, economies. Open up. Society, communities, decision makers. Open up. Shakando se la kadabaha. Open up 
Industries, economies, we're called to you. Open up, open up. and to organizations you have a product to to present I sense so strong in my spirit that something is gonna break out of this service and you will return with answers I want to invite you forward you've got a technology that you are seeking to present to an organization or to a sector you've got proposals for key decision makers and today on the account of a vision God gave you, you're stepping forward to say, let the gates open. Let the stamps and approval come. You have a presentation for government. And you are saying, Father, on the account of that which you are doing in this house, Give me a song that says, I have come in the name of the Lord. I have come in the name of the Lord. Let's declare that. We will rise. We will rise. Hallelujah. That's the first uh, uh, language that I heard in my spirit for us to declare. Right where you are, I want you to declare, I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of the Lord. And then I want you to begin to pray, declaring that the gates open up because I come in the name of the Lord. I proceed in the name of the Lord. I advance in the name of the Lord. I engage in the name of the Lord. I pitch in the name of the Lord. I engage, I declare that I come in the name of the Lord. I rise in the name of the Lord. We come in the name of the Lord. Declare that. So come below Vegados. Read it is over the Bahar. Umburuzu Zumanda Bahas. I come in the name of the Lord. I reign in the name 
of the Lord. Christ is mine and I am his. I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of the Lord. I reign in the name of the Lord. Christ is mine and I am his. I come in the name of the Lord. I call to Borake Bale Kosimalai. of your glory upon my brand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ he sent you into the marketplace he put a vision in your heart for the nations of the earth allocate a weight of your glory on my brand oh God allocate a weight of your glory on my brand oh God single living us Rubeko to Poriana, Shana na kuvebaha, Rutus kubeni kuzaba. Say, I come in the name of the Lord. Sakore belo si braga da baha. I come in the name of the Lord. Yes. I come in the name of the Lord. Ricardo pila na masa tela gada baha. Allocate a weight of your glory on my brand in the name of Jesus. Declare that my movements will be as the sound of mighty armies. That is the movement of my feet, like the sound of mighty armies. Rina Hallelujah. Now let us receive sponsors behind closed doors. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, thank you, Father, for counselors who have insider insights. And thank you for sponsors behind closed doors who negotiate for my advantage. Receive them. They could be Muslims. Receive them. In the name of Jesus, reboot the COVID. Those of you standing in the room, receive that as well. Negotiators and sponsors for your advantage behind closed doors in quarters of influence, decision making sectors in the name of Jesus. So, Paria Govros Kotusha Nama, Eleboros, Hallelujah. Finally, I want you to receive the language of the Chaldeans. Receive the language of the Chaldeans. How to present what you have been given in a way that it resonates with the industries you've been sent. Receive revelation great research driven insights. The language of the Chaldeans in the name of Jesus Christ. Leboros of Rikadusha Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Processions of grace.
processions of grace. Send upon me, Baha. Me be loose of it, yes, the passion. We not cause of any cause of our summer no cube. Processions of grace prosper and advance significantly. Do mighty things in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. testimonies and we close out this precious morning. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. You will return testifying. Your proofs will be so bountiful that you will make scripture make sense. People will see from your life and your story what God can do with a yielded vessel. You will advance significantly. You will triumph abundantly. You will proceed according to prophecy. You will walk in the manifest dimensions of the miraculous. You will make the supernatural easy to understand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your eyes will see, your ears will hear, your heart will understand. Oh, la correvelos. We want to pray about our relationship with the Lord. We want to come into new realms of revival. Some of you were at Heavenly Portals meeting. And you saw, you, 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 I mean, look at what the Lord did. Look at the hunger in thousands. In thousands. We used the 2,500 capacity space and we had to be getting our, our own people off to, to hunger, desperation for the Lord. And we have this relationship that we must treasure and preserve. And that's what we want to do. That In the remaining four months of this year, there will be months of wait, months of encounter, Months of attunement, alignment, assignment. There's a song that he gave me. It's in Yoruba, but it's easy to catch. Oh, where me, where me, oh, more fair or jure. Oh, where me, where me, oh, far Alignment, assignment, Farahami. Revival fire, Farahami. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the 
also wear me, wear me on, more fair or Make it your own personal moment. It says, I'm hungry, hungry for the Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. 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 to pray 
in 2017 and it has changed my whole life and I want to challenge us to pray together in a, in a minute I want you to pray from your heart sincerely and say sweet Holy Spirit show me how to accommodate your move in the midst of my demands and the reality of my life there is grace allocated to your unique seasons and God is not judging you he's, he's going to show you a system that works some of you as you are in that bus going to work you have to leave home early and there are many mornings you won't be able to do quiet time before you leave home but as you get into that bus in that one and a half hour commute in a year you can become if you used every 90 minutes of commute to encounter him he can do that for you it changed my life my life has been full but it has also been full of God the sweet Holy Spirit show me uncover the wisdom for hosting your presence and housing your glory and experiencing your move in the midst of my unique seasons some of you are mothers of young children I understand but there's still room for God. There's still room for God. Pray that from your heart. Oh, I want to make room, 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 room for you. I want to make